Wonderful to see how a million bottles of ketchup is made with modern technology. Agricultural technology. Hello guys, today we will show you the tomato ketchup making process. Watch till the end and click subscribe and the bell button on our channel to see more videos like this. Enjoy! Ketchup, a tangy seasoned tomato sauce, is one of America's favorite condiments. As you might want to know, during the mid-1990s, the sales of ketchup exceeded $400 million annually. Making ketchup at home was a tedious, day-long process. But with modern technology, we can see how easy it is for workers in this factory to make millions of bottles of ketchup. The main ingredients of ketchup are tomatoes, vinegar, salt, spice, flavorings, onion, and garlic. More modern processes use pre-mixed or encapsulated spices, which are easier to use but more expensive. Whatever the form, spice must be of a high quality. The various bands of ketchup have slightly different formulas, which vary primarily in the amount of spices or flavorings. Thicker consistencies require a greater ratio of sugar and spices related to the tomato juice. Occasionally, formulas must be slightly adjusted according to variations in the acid and sugar content of tomatoes, which occurs with changes in growing conditions and types of tomatoes. And every formula must need tomatoes. Now we will go with the harvesting and preparing tomatoes process. Ketchup manufacturers must seek out the best quality tomatoes for their product. Tomato varieties are developed which are superior in color, flavor, texture, and yield. Consistency is an important factor, as slight variations in tomato characteristics could alter the flavor and color of the finished product. Tomatoes are harvested mechanically between June and July. In late summer, these tomato fields are full of machines and the factories are busier than at any other point during the year. The amount and quality of tomatoes that roll into factories almost nonstop at the harvest time is really what defines the coming year of the farmers. Everything has to work out and all the tomatoes have to be processed inside 24 hours to keep them fresh and delicious. Speed is essential. The fruit is commonly conveyed by water from the trucks into a flume or an inclined channel. The water method washes the tomatoes and protects them from bruising while they pass from the truck to the factory. The tomatoes are sorted, washed, and chopped. Next, pre-cooking or scaling and stainless steel vats preserves the tomatoes and destroys bacteria. The chopped and pre-cooked tomatoes are pumped into pulping machines or cyclones, which separate seeds, skins, and steams from the pulp. 
the pulp and juice are filtered through screens and processed further into ketchup. Through some may be stored in a paste for use later in the year. The pulp is pumped into cooking tanks or kettles and heated to boiling. Foaming may occur if fresh tomato pulp is used, but can be corrected with anti-foaming compounds or compressed air. Precise amounts of sweeteners, vinegar, salt, spice, and flavorings are added to the tomato pulp. All spices are added early in the cooking process. To avoid excessive evaporation, volatile spice oils and vinegar must be mixed in later. Onions and garlic can be mixed in with the spice, placed in a separate bag, or chopped and added to the pulp. Though it is better to add sugar later to prevent burning. The mixture cooks for 30 to 45 minutes and is circulated by rotating blades installed in the cookers. The temperature must be carefully regulated to ensure absorption of the ingredients without overcooking, which creates a flat body. To prevent contamination, the ketchup passes from the receiving tanks to the filling machines at a temperature not lower than 190 degrees. The containers are filled with the ketchup and immediately sealed to retain the freshness of the product. The containers must be cooled to prevent flavor loss through stack burning, which occurs when ketchup stays at high temperatures after cooking is complete. Containers of ketchup may be cooled in cold air or cold water. Finally, the ketchup containers are labeled and coated with product information, including ingredients, date, and location of manufacture and shelf life. The bottle ketchup may be inspected again before shipping. The entire process of ketchup manufacturing generally takes two to three hours. That's the end for today. Thank you for watching the video. Any other agriculture technology that you want us to have included, let us know in the comment section. See you in the next video.